subscribed please subscribe hit that notification bell to be notified when I download another video so today today I wanted to do something different today I wanted to share with you guys um, when I met someone famous I think I met one guy I feel like I met like two famous people but the main one was guys you're not even going to believe it because i couldn't even believe it when it happened let me tell you this was back in maybe 1999 all right who is not a fan of selena because your girl here is the number one fan of selena and the movie <sighs> so um I had a cousin that unfortunately she did pass away many years ago um, and she was married to um, her husband. She had a husband and his family, he was from California. His parents lived in California, he lived in California. Amazing, humble people is what I can say, they love them to death. Um, and my cousin married him and comes to find out his mom was friends with a couple famous people in Hollywood so you know when that movie Selena came out everybody loved that movie like who did I'm telling you that was like I can watch that whole movie and tell you word by word by word by word love it you know my kids know mommy loves selena anything for selena so anyway we all know about yolanda saldivar or saldivar you know people call her saldivar saldivar we all know who that beat is when she killed selena we all know she killed selena Selena's movie was released back in 1997. So, one day my cousin was like, hey, come over. Um, the lady that made, that was in Selena's movie is coming over. And I'm like, huh, what? What do you mean? So, everybody knows the lady that killed Selena, you know, everybody hated her. Everybody still hates her to, you know, to, to now. So I'm like, oh, okay. You know, like I was nervous. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, oh. like, to be honest with you, I felt some type of way. Even if she was, you know, even if she was in the movie, I feel like, so, like, I feel like she still killed Selena. She still killed Selena. That was the lady that killed Selena, but it's a movie. You know, why Why are we going to hate her if she's just playing the role of somebody? So, um, I got picked up, um, got dropped off to my cousin's house, and she, I don't think she was there yet. There was, I know all our family was there. All our family was there and my one cousin was like oh my god what are we gonna feed them like what are we gonna get to eat like i thought it was gonna be a barbecue i think we did like a barbecue type of thing but then we ended up going to buy them chicken wings i'll never forget this so my cousin was like come in the car let's go we're gonna go buy chicken wings for her <laughs> so we went in the car and I'll never forget, up the street from my house, there's like this chicken wing spot. And back then it was called Wings To Go or something like that. And so we ended up buying mad chicken wings. Oh my neck hurts. Mad chicken, we like bought so much chicken wings, it was crazy. Um, But I was so nervous to meet her. Like, come on, she is so famous right now. It was just like a year after she made this movie. I was just like, um, do I hate her or do I not hate her? 
<laughs> but she was so nice. She was so down to earth, so humble, smiling, interacting with everybody. And her name is Guadalupe Antiveros. 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 There we go. Guadalupe Antiveros. Unfortunately, she did die in 2012 due to cancer. So may she rest in peace. Her beautiful soul, beautiful person. And um, she did a lot of movies. She did a lot of movies. Um, so yeah, that was a really, really nice experience. Um, who else did I meet? I met Dr. Phil when I went on the Dr. Phil show two years ago in 2019 uh, for Dulce's case. He was very nice. Like, I was scared to meet Dr. Phil. Like, I was really scared. When he sent one of his assistants to go get me, I was like, oh my God, like, I'm going to go into this bedroom. Is this his bedroom? Is he sleeping in here? Like, it was so beautiful it was at the ritz carlton or right i think it's in new york city that's where we um filmed the show um and it was just like it felt like you were in a movie like i don't know it was just like so breathtaking and he had fresh flowers everywhere like he had he must love flowers dr phil must love flowers because he had fresh flowers everywhere in that bedroom he had them in the um recording room yeah it was it, it was crazy like um he said go get jackie and we spoke privately he told me um he said thank you he appreciated everything that i did that i was doing at the time we spoke about other personal things um very nice very tall um big big hands um yeah it, it was a it was a pleasure um meeting dr phil as well and um and just growing up um growing up i was raised in a spanish-speaking household my grandparents only spoke Spanish. My parents did speak English. Um, but I was always with my grandparents because we lived two houses away from my grandparents. So I was always at my grandparents' house. So um, my family comes from music, from musicians. And we always used to have parties in the basement. Like, who did not grow up having parties? in the basement because i did like everybody's birthday was in the basement my sweet 15 was in the basement all my birthdays were in the basement my grandma like everybody's birthdays was in the basement they were the best damn parties so anyway my family's are musicians we love music you know raised in um spanish merengue salsa bachata music so we always would go every year to concerts and we would always like meet the spanish uh, musicians like elvis crespo Grupo Manía, um la india um mark anthony like we've met so many spanish speaking musicians and speaking about that two years ago i think i want to say two years ago it just popped up on my fucking facebook another famous person that i met who i love 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 since i was young many of you might not know but her name is brenda k star so i met brenda k star my um i know somebody that's like a really good friends with her best friends since they were little grew up with each other and she knew that I liked her, you know, I loved her music, I liked her. And one night I was a hot mess, hot mess, pajamas. I think it was like, it, I think it was like a Saturday night. And my aunt calls me and she was like, um, someone's gonna call you. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> who? I 
and I was like, mm, I kind of had like a feeling, right? She said, just pick up someone's gonna FaceTime you. I'm like, okay. And then it was Brenda K Star. I was so afraid of picking up that FaceTime. I did not know what to say. I did not know what to do. I was looking a mess. And I was like, oh my God, it was nice to meet you. She is the bomb. Brenda K Star, if you haven't heard any of her music, uh, back in the day, Erida, Sola. She sang, um, what's that other, other song back in the day? Um, I don't know. I just don't remember it. But we face she FaceTimed me and we were on the phone for a while. I couldn't believe it. Like she was somebody that I grew up listening to and I couldn't believe that she was FaceTiming me. So yeah. What famous people have you met? If you've met any famous people, comment down below and um share your experience of meeting any famous people thank you guys for watching i'm sorry it's a short video but subscribe like and hit that notification bell take care guys